Hello everyone. My name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. Um, okay. So uh, we did learn that uh, how we could write up the test, right? How we could write the test using the we can put up the strength in the conditions. We could put up the integers, right? Moving forward, we learn that how do we execute up the files, a single file and a multiple files as well. These are all our respective things that we had gone through, right? Now. Let's say we have up a case here that um, let's say you have a case that you want to run up all of those respective test files which are having up a word. Let's say my word is fun, F U N. Let me write that as well. One second. So, right here I would take up a color and yeah, that's okay. Let's say I, will, I am having up a word that is fun. Okay. Now I want to run up though all of those respective files which contain up this particular word okay which i want to run up those all of the files in each and every test file uh every test case in each and every test file which is having up the word which is fun okay now into that case we have a different command that's used for doing so okay we have a command right here and that particular command is only used whenever you want to do some or the other thing like that so into that particular case uh, it's completely used out fine now uh, first of all let me tell you that what's that command and after that i'm going to tell you one very interesting fact regarding uh, the same which i am talking about right here fine so let me go to the downside right here and my command which i have is it's pi test okay it's pi test and here goes dash k okay now you put up the angular bracket and in the angular brackets you put up your sub string okay you put up your sub string into these angular brackets and in front of that you write out dash b so now that's the syntax that's the command which we use up uh, for executing a name which is existing in all of the test files okay great so here goes now pytest dash k in the bracket you have the sub string and then you have the dash v fine so sub string is basically the string for which you want to check up all of your test files that's actually called your sub string okay so now that's a very fair idea and that's a very clear idea so let's see my term which i wanted to search upon is fun so i would write up here pytest pytest dash k into the bracket i'm going to write up here as the fun okay and i'm going to write up here dash v so this is how it's actually gonna be and this is how you are gonna put up the command okay now right here while writing only i'll be giving you a very short example for this particular case uh, let's see i am having up a test test file one dot py this is my one file okay into that i have sub command which is written let's say dev and that's test underscore fun one okay you put up the bracket and uh, let's say you put up a condition that it's assert 11 is equal equal to 11 fine let's say you put up one more uh one more test case right here so that's let's say test def test underscore one put it like this right here again you put up a assert function and write up 12 is equal equal to 24 okay and one more case you put up you got down here and if i wrote up here dev and now let's say my next function name is test underscore function test underscore function okay and i put up the bracket like this and into that downside i wrote up assert and uh, condition goes are three into two is equal equal to six fine these three are the things which I am having up into my test file. These three are my respective tests which I am having up here. Now let's say I make up my second test file. My second test file. So one second let me check out the name. So that's test underscore file one. So downside it will be one second. Uh, it will be test underscore uh, file 2 dot py okay my next file which i want to write it about right here test underscore file 2 dot py fine 
Now into this respective file again I start writing up some of my test cases like to dev it's dev fun to rate okay where did I miss up that test one second so I would just write yeah here goes uh, here goes the dev and then I am having test underscore fun to put up the brackets the colon and downside I put up my assert and in front of that I put up my condition let's say my condition is uh, a is equal equal to b uh, not like this one second a is equal equal to b like this okay now here going to downside my second condition is div and here goes let's say uh, div test underscore uh, one fun okay and the brackets and here again goes my assert and my condition and my condition would be let's say um, not the not the inverted commas it would simply it would simply be 4 is equal equal to 4 fine now if I write up the above command this command which I did wrote up here if I write that out okay so what it is gonna do from here what it is gonna actually uh, do is here is that it will take all of the functions which have this word which is fun inscribed in it right now it doesn't matter that it has one as well or the text if fun is mentioned then it will treat that as a function as a substring which has to be taken care of fine in the test underscore fun when you, we were having fun so that this will be included okay now if i talk about this respective test so test underscore one now into this fun is not included so it will not take up this one moving downside into this respective function now this is test underscore function but you have as well the word which is fun right here right in the starting you have fun so what it is going to do it is going to take up that particular as well okay it will take that as well moving to my second file it will check on or uh, check on for all of the files okay moving to my second file here i have fun so again it is going to take that out fun and it is going to consider up this particular function this particular test and for this as well it's going to consider up my respective function okay one and uh, one fun fine so now what I'm going to do is that this let me quickly take up a very quick color from here and I have something very important to mention about this particular page. So from both of these respective files, this test will be included and then this respective test will as well be included. From my second file, both of the tests will be included. So in total, I'll be having four tests. Okay, in total, I'll be having four tests that will have of the keyword that will have the substring which is fun into them so it's gonna collect up all of those four and then uh, according to the need it's gonna give up the respective result either your test case has been failed or your test case has been passed or whatsoever you are having up okay so hope i'm first of all very much clear with these particular things to you that what are the things it's gonna take and how it's actually gonna respond up here and how do you execute out this particular query okay so uh, when i wrote up here the substring so that substring is actually your string for which you want to uh, search for the test name so a string a string for a string for which you want to a string for which you want to uh, search for test name okay so what the whatever test you want to search about that substring is the respective string right so hope i am very much clear at this particular place regarding the the substring that how do you execute up any of the test case when you are having up a substring and how does that actually completely works up right here fine so hope you got up a very clear idea into this particular case. So this is all for this video. Till then thank you and take care.